Today we're doing a take two on a tandem cross recoil spring guide rod assembly for the Taurus TX-22 and this time we're going to use CCI ammo to see if it works and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So if you remember from the original video on this, the original recoil spring and guide rod assembly from Tandem Cross had a failure. So I got a hold of them and they sent me out on a new and improved one. Well in that video, I'll leave a card to all these so you guys can check them out. That one had a lot of failures with Federal Auto Match. So a lot of you guys down in the comments said, hey, get some CCIs and try it with that to give it a fair shot. So what we got today is some CCI standards. And then over there, I still got some mini mag target rounds too. So we're going to try them both out in this and see how it works. So let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to do the first shots in there. And just so you guys can see, that is the silver tandem cross recoil spring in there. I do have the factory one that's black plastic out here just in case. Just to see if this fails again, we're going to throw the factory one back in. So now we got 20 rounds of CCI standards, and I'm just going to fire these off and see how they go. All right, I fired all those just fine. I'm going to load up another magazine and try it again. Now this magazine, we only got 14 rounds. I thought I grabbed a full box and it was only a partial box. But that's all right. We'll do some of the mini mag target rounds after this. Let's just make sure these 14 rounds go through. Now this time I'm going to transition targets just to see what happens. All right, fired all those just fine. Let's try some of the target rounds. Now I got two mags filled up with the CCI mini mag targets here. We're going to see if these do any better here. These ones I'm just going to kind of go through kind of fast hitting the targets too. You can see here on these they got a copper round on it. So let's see what these are going to do. Alright, those went just fine. We'll do this other one here real quick. Try this out. <laughs> Taking that little plate there. Alright, fired all those just fine. I did bring out the Federal Auto Match. Let's try that again. All right, now I got two magazines here loaded up with the Federal Auto Match you see there. You can see we're back to the lead bare bullet in that. Pop these in and see what these do here. Let me see if that picked up. This one it was the issue we had before. That one didn't even pick up a round out of the magazine. So now that makes me wonder. Oh wait, no. Take that back. It was a failure to lock back. So that was all 20 rounds. Sorry about that. I thought it didn't uh, feed there. Wasn't counting my shots. So let's try this one again. This is another 20 rounds. A Federal Auto Match. Now that one here, this could be the ammo. That was a failure to eject. So we're going to get that out of there. Chamber the next round. All right, and I fired all those, that's fine. The failure to eject, I'm not going to blame on the recoil spring. This is cheap ammo. But it did run a lot better with those 40 rounds of Federal Auto Match than it did before. 
So now what I want to do is we're going to go back inside and I want to show you a couple of things that I found on this that I did in another video and I kind of got the same issue with it but this time around it shot a lot better so maybe it's breaking in. Let's go inside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now that we're back inside I want to show you guys the issue I've been having with this. And this happened with the original one I got from Tandem Cross and this one. If you go back it goes into battery you can see it don't move. But if you just barely pull it forward and go like that it doesn't shut watch i can pull it shut see how it moves that little bit but if it goes back like that even i don't think it did right there let's watch i moved it forward you can see it here in the extractor too see how it doesn't go in all the way and then i can move it but if i go back far enough and let it slam it does so now what i'm going to do is is i'm going to make sure it's clear here we're going to pull the trigger pop this off here this, you can see, is the original recoil spring and guide rod from Tandem Cross. This is my original factory one from Taurus. So now I'm going to put this in here. We're going to swap it around and see what this one does. Get this back together here real quick. All right. Safe direction. Now what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to let it slam home. But now we're just going to barely move it forward. You can see, I cannot move it when I barely move it forward. That is perfect. So, once again guys, I am not too impressed with this uh, new and approved guy rod or the other one from Tandem Cross. This is the only part I've ever gotten from them I've had an issue with. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the regular recoil spring and guide rod in this and shoot it with that after what I showed you guys today. Even though this one shot all right with the CCIs, I shoot a lot of bulk pack, and I think a lot of you guys do too. And that's the reason I'm going to leave that recoil spring guide rod in from Taurus. Because it would eat everything with that one in. And this one seems to be a tad bit picky, and I'm not too impressed with that. So I will get a hold of Tandem Cross and let them know about my findings and give them a link to their video. Now everything else on this gun that I put on from Tandem Cross, the comp, the sights, mega release, the trigger, the extractor, the halo ring, everything else has functioned perfect. The only thing I've had to issue with is this. So as always, if you want to check some stuff out from Tandem Cross for your Taurus TX-22, I'll leave a link down below. Like I said, be iffy on this, but everything else that I have on here, I really like. So check that link out. Also, don't forget to check out the Axial links down there and all the other ones. It does help out the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. And we'll see you all on the next one.